<laughs> All right, we are at Windy City Pulp and Paperback Con 2012, and now we're talking to legendary uh, pulp and comics writer and editor and uh, raconteur extraordinaire Ron Fortier. And uh, how are you doing this morning, Ron? I'm doing great. I, I love this show. I'm very happy to be here. And it's always good to see you, no doubt about that. All right, I've got six quick questions for you. All right, fire away. From the pulp readers out there who want to know these things. <laughs> First, uh, what inspires you and what creative things are you enjoying now? Whoa, okay, well, a lot of things inspire me, but really it's other creators. It's books. You know, I love to read movies, action, action adventure genre in any medium. That's pretty much what inspires me. Um, what's inspiring me today? It's, it's great filmmaking uh, of the variety of John Carter, uh, TV shows like Fringe and uh, Person of Interest, which is very pulpy. I, pulp's infusing our culture today. And I'm so looking forward to the Avengers movie. I think that's going to skyrocket. So yeah, those are my inspirations. Um, what have you done and why should readers look for it? <laughs> okay. If they don't already know. All right. Well, I, I manage Airship 27 Productions. And for the last six years, myself and my partner, Rob Davis, have been producing new pulp anthologies and novels featuring classic 1930s characters. Uh, we've got approximately 50 titles in our catalog. We're, we're on the market. We have a website of our own. You can find us, Google us, and whatever. Airship 27 Productions. That's pretty much what keeps me busy these days. Okay. What is your favorite pulp story of all time? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> ah, that one comes out of left field. And it's, it's, it's really, really tough for me because I, I love them all. I'd have to say, honestly, I would say the original number one Lester Dent, Doc Savage, Man of Bronze. I think that one book, when I read it as a teenager in a paperback reprint, is the one thing that made me realize what pulp was. And I've read other Dent books, I've read the Shadow books and, and all the others, but none of them had the impact of me as Man of Bronze did. Okay. What's a typical writing session like for you? Oh, okay. Uh, basically, what I'll do is, is if I'm working on a, a project, a short story, I, pr I pretty much come to spontaneously. Uh, I'll go in the office after, after whatever errands and chores I do during the day, but when it's time for me to write, I'll sit down with a cup of coffee in front of the PC, and I'll just jump into a short story from where I left off the day before. Short stories and their plot ideas pretty much come to me whole, and it's a case of working a couple hours, and then no more. I do a couple hours at the PC and then basically have to stretch and get the old body going again. When I'm working on a novel, it's a whole other uh, concept because I generally plot out novels and I have an idea of how many chapters I'm going to do per day, per week, etc. So it's, it's, it's two different approaches, but that's pretty much how I work. What were your main influences as a writer? Okay, well obviously the, the biggest influences, and we're going back to imagination, were comic books. Reading Marvel, I was 13 years old when Marvel was born. So the Marvel hero, Stan Lee and his writing, Denny O'Neill and his writing, those are the writers that I admired. By the time I was a teenager in high school, I got into mystery and fiction writing. And my all-time favorite writer ever was uh, the late Ed McBain, who wrote that, that fabulous uh, true life you know, crime series, 87 Precinct novels. And he's the one writer that I do my best every time I sit down and do prose and try to at least emulate to the best of my abilities. And finally, what's the next project we'll be seeing from you? Hmm, okay, there's a, there's a couple of things coming out from Moonstone books, obviously, you know, uh, short stories. I've got a new spider story in the new spider anthology. Uh, I've got a Johnny Dollar story, Johnny Dollar being a private eye from, from the radio days. And I just wrapped up uh, my first ever Operator 5 story from Moonstone, which is going to be an interesting thing because each story is self-contained, but they're part of a theme, like the old Purple Invasion series of, that did. So basically what people are going to see from me isn't going to be so much books yet as short stories. I've got a, a slew of them coming out this year. Awesome. Thanks so much for spending the time to talk to us, Ron. Hey, it was my pleasure. Thank you very much for doing this. All right, have a great rest of the con. Thank you.